Hello, hello, hello. It's Sunday and it's Sunday special time. Six o'clock live premiere right here on YouTube. So it's Trisha here from Smith's Crafts Creations. And um, I'm just wanting to share a scrap busting card with you that I would like to do. So what I want to do is create a 4x4 four four petal pink card base. Okay. Because this is going to be a 4x4 four four card, a little mini card. So I'm cutting this down to 4 inches. And by 8 inches. And then I will score it at 4. Or you can just fold it in half, whatever you prefer. Okay, like so. I also need a whisper white layer, which measures um, 3 and 7 eighths. If I can find where I put my white cardstock. Here we go. So this needs to measure 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And that just allows you... Oh, that's going to be too small. Let me get another bit. Um, let me use a bigger piece actually because I need to line it as well. So 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Because we do want a nice white insert for the card. Um, so we can write on it and we need the layer for on the outside too. And I'll tell you why in a minute why I've chosen the um, petal pink base. So, I was thinking, what will I do this week for Sunday Special? Um, let me have a little look at what I've got, etc. And, um, I opened up my Magnolia Blooms beginner card making stamp set. And, um, lo and behold, there's lots of scraps in the stamp set that I forgot were in there. So I have this. And one of these little pieces is... A um, two inch square. Is it two inch? Let me check. Yeah, this is a two inch square um, that I had previously die cut out using the stitched shapes. And um, I thought I'm going to put that, I'm going to utilise that on a card. And I thought, what else can I do? Let me utilise some of this beautiful imagery. So I've got quite a few bits that um, can be fussy cut out that's why i love to keep it's such beautiful beautiful paper that's why i like to keep um all my scrap pieces you see so you can see we've got little um mossy meadow print flowers on there we've teeny ones on there i'm not going to fussy cut them out we have this um early espresso colored paper we have a little leaf or two on there and the list goes on. Look at that. I mean, that's adorable. There's no point in throwing it away. Oh, I also have a circle. But I'll use that in another project. So, let's, let's get started. Now, I am going to stamp my sentiment on the card in Mossy Meadow today because um, majority of these fussy cut, well, these images that I'm going to cut do have Mossy Meadow in there. I think it's a lovely contrast against the um, petal pink. However, you could go for petal pink if you wish. So, what I'm going to do first and foremost, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to add in my um, layers, okay? Starting with my um, card insert in there, okay? Do the same on the outside. I am just stamping the sentiment on here, so... Not too worried about stamping and then adhering on. Okay, so this is going to be the main focal point of the card, and that is going to be centered on there. Okay, now I'm thinking I could fussy cut out this image here. Okay, but um. You can actually utilise and do a couple of things. I have a half image here and a half image there. So I think I'm going to fussy cut those two out. 
because they're um, overlapping, they're um, at the forefront of this DSP, those two images. So let's do that. So I hope everybody's well. And if you're here chatting, thank you so much. It's always great to chat with everyone. Okay, now I am going to take it right to the um, outline because I want to get rid of as much of that black as possible. Now the outline of these printed images is early espresso, I think, so there is a slight brown tinge, but that's absolutely fine. I just don't want the black. So just carefully cut where you deem it appropriate, and then you could always trim it down a little better once you have a better idea of how it's looking. So you can see that looks quite all right. So the aim is I would simply just attach one or two of these inside that. And it really is a, a good way to save throwing out this beautiful, beautiful DSP. I do have another full pack of the DSP, but because I've utilized my first pack so well, um, and I have um, shared this out with the craft class ladies to make projects in class, um, but still have lots left because I do utilise it well. Okay, so, oops, a slight um, slip of the scissors there. You just need to be very careful if you're using sharp instruments. Don't want no accidents. <laughs> Only kidding, we've all cut ourselves with scissors, haven't we? Right. So, isn't that pretty? So that would go there, and that one would go there. Or you could alternate and put top and bottom. And look how stunning that's going to look. And then you could add some coloured um, basic pearls around there. I'm going to see if there's a sentiment that would potentially fit inside you could use congratulations no you can't that's too big that's the wrong stamp see this is the starter one where all this was filed <laughs> that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the full set which i have believe it or not on my desk i'm looking for something in that's right beside me right so we've got enjoy today i'm sure that would fit in this um and here, so this is from the Good Morning Magnolia. This is box two of two because there's two packs. Right, so we have a couple of options for enjoy today. So that could be for a birthday or um, that could be... For, sorry, I'm getting a text message there. That could be for a birthday or it could be... in engagement or a new job or something and then we'll also have the larger stamps from the first part of this set right I am just going to bite the bullet and um, place all my stamps directly in the case it's far easier to get out we've got hello and I think we'd get away with stamping that um, if you find it's a tight fit, we could always trim these down a little bit. Or we could use thanks. So, I think I'll use hello actually because um, I like to send out cards as racks. Okay. Another choice you could have is you could stamp inside of this and then put them on top. But I think we're going to go with this. So... If I just place it, I know roughly where it's going to go. It's going to go lining up the letters with this line. Not the thick line, but the white line there. So let's try this. Now, if I get this wrong, well, I hope I don't get it wrong. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> right, let's get these bitties out of the way and I'll concentrate on this one piece. Concentration, concentration. Right, so, now I need to be careful because I've just re-inked my Mossy Meadow, but I think I may need to re-ink it more 
and I do, and I'm just going to do that quickly while we're here. Okay. Because I obviously didn't put enough ink in it the last time. So I'm just uh, running it up and down like so. Not taking it too close to the edges because it should um, should work its way out to the edges itself. So I'm just... There we go. So that should be that inked up. So let's try again. Have a little practice shot. Right, so... That's better. You see the difference before and after. So that is great. I will re-ink it again later on just to make sure it's extra juicy. So I want to line this up here. There we go. Don't be shy, just pop it on. <gasps> I like it, I like it. Isn't the mossy meadow beautiful against that petal pink? I think so. Now, I like nice, plain space on the cards a lot of the time. You could um, stamp um, in petal pink around here. I think that would look really pretty as well. Um, but not for today. Today I am going to use these. Isn't that gorgeous? So, where I've done my stamping, I want to keep it in the square, so where I've done my stamping, this, these both fit towards the left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find, um, where was the piece that I was cutting? I'm going to try and find maybe a little leaf or something that I could possibly pop on from this. Just to break up that empty space. So there's a little leaf here. Um... There's a little floral bit here, but that'll be too big. Let me see now if there's anything else I can utilise. I don't want brown. I may actually use a couple of these little leaves. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? Right, so let me use... I'm just trying to think which ones... I think I'll use those two little leaves there, possibly. I'll use this one that's on the edge, actually. Let's see if there's another half one. Maybe one will just be enough. Um, there's these as well. Oh, there's one I can use. Just scrap that. I might use the leaf after all, but hang on. Let me use this. And I particularly like doing this when the image is part off of um, the side of your DSP. Obviously, it's a continuous print uh, when it's been manufactured kind of thing. But I pop that there. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I do like that. Right, let's get this stuck on. Now, what I think I'll do is I think I'll raise this whole thing up. Now, let me grab some dimensions. You're probably thinking, oh, the other side's pretty as well. Yes, I know, I know. Sometimes we need to make these hard decisions, though. What side to use. So I'm just utilising the um, extra piece of foam that comes with the... Um, comes around the edge of the dimensions. I'm just using some minis as well. don't have time to look out my... Uh, other ones. Right, let me get my tweezers. I'm just going to poke these so it's easier for me to pull them off. It's come away so much easier. She says, yep, great. 
There's a little tip from my friend Wendy, who is on YouTube now, and she does lovely projects. Okay, right. Let's get this positioned in the middle. Make sure your card's the right way that you want it. Don't lose those little die-cut pieces, fussy cut pieces even. Oops. And I'll see. I think that's about centre. Yeah. Let's go with that. Right, now is the time to glue it on. So I want to keep it inside the box like I said earlier. Okay, like so. Isn't that gorgeous? This DSP and this feel sweet never, ever, ever, ever fails to amaze me. Look at that beautiful card from a couple of bits of scrap. Blows me away. If this isn't in next year's, well, this new catalogue launching in um, June, I will be bamboozled. I'm pretty positive it will be. There we go. This one would be too much in there, so I'll just leave that. And that is our beautiful, beautiful um, little card. And I've just realised I am recording this the wrong way round. So before I upload it to um, YouTube, I will need to convert it... Um, convert it to um, landscape. I don't know what's happened there. My phone's been going ding dong, you see. Right, I'm going to line the inside with this piece of scrap DSP that I have left. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it where it should be um, cut. Okay, now I did cut this on my old trimmer, which was getting very um, rough around the edges, shall we see, with the old blade. Okay, so I'm going to just pop that along the side. And it just gives extra decoration on the inside. Highly for time, 17 minutes. That is absolutely fine. So because it's a simple hello card, I am leaving the inside blank. Okay. What we could do is we could add a little floral piece in the corner. Let's see if there's any any bits here. Because we can go with mossy meadow, we could go with petal pink. Um, just thinking that's not suitable. I really want to put something in here. Might make it too busy. I think it might be too busy if I add another die cut piece, fuzzy cut piece in there. Let's see what we've got in here. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I wish I could hear you because you'd be shouting at me saying, do this or do that. No, I'll go with my gut. I'll leave it blank. I shall leave it blank. Um, there's not nothing I wish to salvage further. Could add an insert in here as well, but I'm not going to do that neither. I'll keep this for another project. I do plan to do, I'll maybe do it next Sunday, um, do a, a normal size card, um, white card base and... Um, I'll keep it nice and clean and simple. And what I like to do is I like to die cut out two circles so that you get like the, it's almost like the, what would you call it on a, on a ship? You know, with the bit where you look through the window. Can't remember. It almost looks like a window. And we can layer up these wee pieces around the edge and it looks really, really beautiful. If you look back my channel, you should be able to see something similar. I think I made it with the Freezer Bird Suite though. Um, so yeah. Right, anyway, that is me um, just about done. I am just going to quickly clean um, my stamp on my chamois. 
which needs a good rinse out. Absolutely love this. I do prefer it to my other cleaning um, items. Um, yeah, so that is our Sunday special project. I hope you've enjoyed chatting today and um, I hope to see you here back, uh, back here soon. Thank you if you're a new subscriber. Thank you for coming on to chat and my love to you all. Take care now. Bye.